Hey, what's up? It's your girl, girl with Khalees, and we are back with another video. <laughs> we have a story time today, and as you can tell by the story time, we got stalked. <sighs> Y'all, this was the most craziest, like, craziest story ever. I have never been stalked before, well, until this story time here. But... Uh, it's just like oh my god okay so my freshman year in college i went to whatever <laughs> your girl being really bad out here in these streets not let me quit i i was and shout out to my roommate if you watch this girl <laughs> she's gonna be mad at me <laughs> kind of been missing her call all day but it's okay i have i got rolled up at work y'all It was just too much, but we gonna get into that later. Y'all, I got rolled up at work. That's why y'all need to make these videos happen. You make it happen, not me. Y'all, y'all supposed to love me, be there for me, cherish me. <laughs> okay, no, for real, like, seriously. Okay, so, <clears throat> my freshman year, you know how everybody moved into their dorm and everything like that, everything was cool. I went to my first party. And we all know I can get my thing pop. <laughs> y'all know, if you know me, you know if I just want to Okay. But yes, so I went to this party or whatever. There was this guy there or whatever, and he was a part of fraternity. I'm not going to say the fraternity that he was in, because anybody who want a maternity fraternity whatever the free they're very well connected they're gonna be like this is him from chapter 19 sir no i don't have time for that <clears throat> so basically i went to the party i was having a great time and everything like that. and he walks up to me and he's just like can we dance and you know me i already had a couple little drinks in my system and stuff like that it was a 90s party by the way <laughs> 2017 class of 2021. You know what 90s party I'm talking about. I'm like, I'm not getting nervous. <laughs> oh my god, y'all should not be making me this nervous. This is my first story time. Damn. <sighs> anyway, so yes, he was like, You wanna dance with me? And I was just like, Yeah, why not? You know, it's like, Oh my god, you look so good. But of course, I wasn't gonna let him know. I was gonna show him that. I got a man. <laughs> I can't be saying all this shit. Okay. I just like to do some work and be it's open. <sighs> he asked for my number. So I gave him my number or whatever the case may be. And he was like, okay, I'm gonna call you or whatever like that. So time goes for I haven't heard from him in like a week and a half. I was like, this is cool, whatever. Keeping it player, you feel me? I'm keeping it player. Ah. I'm keeping it player. So I'm just like, okay. He finally calls me, and I'm in the library, so I couldn't pick up his call. So he like, I see you. Why you didn't pick up my call? So I'm just thinking like, where are you at? Where are you watching me? <laughs> it wasn't cute after a while. Let me tell you. So he's like, I see you. You ain't gonna pick up my call, this and that. We in the library, we studying for a test or whatever like that. And he was like, you need help? I took this class last year, woo woo woo. This professor is a pain and a do 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 do. And I'm just like, yeah, you can help me study. <laughs> so he helping me and stuff like that. And he starts asking me like, hey, where's your dorm hall and stuff like that. And I was like, Cromwell. He was just like, we should hang out sometime. And I was just like, hmm, okay, why not? So 
it was the first time I ever had a boy in my dorm. So I was like, baby, you watching this? I'm not excited. I wasn't excited. But yeah, you know, I was kicking up my shit. I was like, ah. And back then, it wasn't my roommate that I loved. Now I had another roommate. Y'all, I'm going to tell y'all how her daddy was racist toward me. I'm going to tell y'all that in another video. So, yes. Cha. He comes over. And we didn't have no TVs. We didn't have no TVs. So, I was watching movies on my laptop. Don't judge me. Don't judge me. Y'all know that struggle. Y'all know that. We were supposed to be studying. College struggle. Y'all know that. So don't be coming, 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 I want to hear that. I don't. Okay. Anyway, so we watch movies on the laptop and stuff like that. And he's just like, okay. You feel me? Like, I see you walking. <laughs> Strike one. I'm like, <laughs> really? Where'd you see me walking? He's like, I see you walking from class, um, from your American history class. I looked at him I'm like, how did you know I took American history? So at that point, I'm like, I never told you about American history. That's not the communications class that the professor you once had. So I'm like, you've been watching me. And you've been watching me for quite some time now to the to the point where is that you know where I'm coming from my classes. So I'm just like <laughs> Yeah, not cool. So everything was cool and stuff like that. So one day he just kept texting me like I see you, I see you, I see you, hello, 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 and I'm in the comments, and we all know what the comments are in school and college and stuff like that. We all know what, you know, where that's, that's where everybody eat. That's where you can go spend your university credits to go get food, sit down, kick it with your friends, do whatever, find a sorority you want to join or fraternity, whatever. You feel basically networking, meet new people, eat, talk, do homework. I wouldn't suggest doing my homework in a noisy area like that but hell do what you do but yes so he just started texting me repeatedly damn noise but yeah he just started texting me repeatedly and repeatedly and repeatedly like hey can you see me can you see me i see you like and i'm just like y'all I am uncomfortable at this point. I'm just like, what do you mean you see me? Like, and mind you, when you're in these type of places, there is swarms of people. Swarms, swarms of people. Like, it's thousands of students in one big, like, auditorium, lunchroom, place, whatever. Honey, when I tell you he was watching me, from a distance and it was like these stairs that connected to the upper level in the comments and when i tell y'all i was all the if you went to you know where the crispy chicken is right and you know where the people went to go study for the um, spanish heritage and stuff like that y'all more of the story i was all the way across the room and he spotted me and he seen me so i'm just like <laughs> hey so he was like i've been seeing you all day today and i'm just like <laughs> what do you mean you've been seeing me all day today because i've been in my dorm he was like, well, I have a friend that's in your building. And he was like, you sure do go to the bathroom a lot. I seen you go to the bathroom like six times. And don't you go and visit your other friend across the hall? 
This situation made me pay attention to my surroundings. I had no clue where he was. What the hell? I was so creeped out. So I told him, I was like, you know what? We're friends and stuff like that. I really enjoyed myself at the party and whatnot. But I was like, um, I think we should just be friends. And I don't really want to text anymore. And normally people have a hard time with doing stuff like that. With letting other people know how they feel. But I was scared at that point And I wasn't really ready to let something like that happen. So, yes, y'all, stay tuned for part two. It gets crazy after this. Like, it really gets crazy, and I'm going to see y'all later, okay? I had to end it here, y'all. I was getting scared having flashbacks.